Hello there. So recently I posted this on Instagram and I got a lot of DM saying, man, your mock-up is so good. How did you print it with such quality? How did you paint and everything? I said, this is no mock-up. This is a 3D model. Like this is, I wouldn't print this. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you how I made this scene so realistic. And I think a big part of that is the paper. So I made these sketches myself. I'm actually a designer. You can't bring your paper into a 3D software, can you? Well, yes, you can. I'm going to show you today. First things first, you need to have paper sketches here. So you need the images as plain add-on. That's pretty obvious. Bam, it's here. It's huge. Scale it down. We want this to be accurate in terms of scale. So I bring this to the actual ballpoint model here that I have. And this width of the lines that are is approximately the same as the ball here. And uh, yeah, let's go with the shading. So right now it's look it, it's looking like I printed this and there is no depth or anything. This is not reacting the way I want with the light. What I'm going to do now is use the texture. Let's use it as a bump map. Color into the height and the normal into the normal. And now we have tricking the software into doing these bumps. But it's really extreme right now. We see the all the points here. The reason is we're using meters here. So this means that when it's dark, it doesn't move. And in, when it's white, it brings it one meter up in the normal so that's why it's doing this people usually change the strength like this would work but if you want to be accurate you have to change the distance so here let's try uh, one millimeter i think it's still too much half a millimeter looks correct looks great also another thing paper is rough but the ink from the pen has less roughness so we could uh, if i lower the roughness you see it's so then it's wet. So we want the surface of the paper to be rather rough and, and we want the ink to be reflective. So we're just gonna use, so we're just gonna use a map range here and into the roughness. And right now it's super reflective in there and super rough out there. So let's do from 0.2 to like 0.7. And yeah, if you, if you look at paper sketches in real life, like if you check the Fresnel angle, you, you will, you will see that it's almost like straight white like this if you have light behind and this is enough to give it realism and uh, you combine this with bending the the sides of the paper it's looking fairly convincing to me like th this there is not much more to do uh, i mean this is this is great combine that with most important point for me here is the the storytelling like you have the ballpoint pen here and you have the ballpoint sketches under and usually when you have this, you have this around too. Also, the lighting is super easy. Here, it's just an HDR. Some objects from Sketchfab. One is even flying over there. I don't know what it's doing. Like, what the fuck? And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and um, yeah, I don't think this one needs a Gumroad file. I think this is very simple. Thank you. Treat me like what is. Don't get me dirty. Love, love, love on me. Love her, love on me. She cannot come with. I just got a kiss. Double up with me. If you f with me. Oh.